Hey friends, so usually I do do a design on the fly and I was trying, um, I was working on this, um, I glued these kibachins on these beautiful pieces um, in my other video and I was working on trying to make this daisy kind of beaded chain, if I can get it to focus. And it just wasn't working um, for me. So, um, yeah. So this is what we are going to work on. But um, I had to take it all apart because what I had was wrong. <laughs> so I was playing with it. Maybe I'll put a little bloopers video at the end to show you that I was, you know, doing a design on the fly. But this is what we're going to work on. Um, so I'm going to, I already th threaded my needle. So I'm going to pick up one stop bead. Um, so this is just my stopper bead. So my work won't slide off the other end. Okay. And then, um, so I am going to start with a one seed bead my round duo and these are all beads from the July box okay and then we're gonna pick up two seed beads on this side so right now you just have the three beads in your stopper bead so now we're going to go back through the round duo on the opposite hole and come out and then have, just like in the brick stitch, have them kind of lay next to each other there. And then I'm going to pick up another seed bead there. Okay. And then I'm going to come back through these two. So I'm going to establish all of that and pull it tight. Okay. And this is just an extra. You don't need to worry about your stopper bead. Then I'm going to pick up two more seed beads and come around the edge. Yeah, so my video stopped. I'm not sure where we were. I apologize. Um, we were adding an, another by bow. It's a very simple, I measured it out. I want um, six inches before I add my clasp. So I need to, found out I need about two more flowers to make three, close to three, and then I add in this. Um, I'm sorry that my computer shut off on me. There. I went to sleep and the video stopped working because of that. So we've gone through the Bibo seed bead round duo, two seed beads, right back through the round duo, picked up a seed bead. Now we went through the Bibo and are connecting it all back down here. And now I'm coming back up through everything. So going in, maybe. Where's my seed bead? Right there. Seed bead, by bow, seed bead, round duo, and seed bead. So trying to connect it all together. Okay. Oh, missed that last seed bead. And now, um, I'll go, I shouldn't have come up through that seed bead. That's okay. We'll go down here through this seed bead. That's okay. And pick up two. You just got to make sure what where the line is with your thread so that you have it in the right direction. And then come down through this seed bead. Don't go through your bibo or your round do or anything. And then you're just going to come back up through this seed bead. Pick up two more. Back out through that one.
And there we go. There's another one of our flowers. So we're going to pick up a bibo, one seed bead, one round duo, and two more seed beads. Pull, pull it all down, bring it in close, and go through the other side of your round duo and pull those seed beads in close to the top. Then we're going to pick up oop, on my ring. <laughs> then we're going to pick up a seed bead. Maybe. There we go. We're going to go through our bibo and connect it to our other flower. Go through that top, the other side of that top seed beads, the two top that the bibo rests against. Then we'll go back through the other seed bead. So I came down through this one. I'm going to go back up through this one. Back up through everything. And end up on the top. And then come down through this seed bead. So that way it can lay flat, pick up two seed beads, come through this one, don't go through the bibo. If you do, it's fine, you just have another bead to go through. And then back up through this seed bead, pick up two seed beads, and out through the top. Let's measure that again. I think I need one more. Mm -hmm. Let's lay this here. Well, we might be okay. And then we do six on the other side, right? We do, that's probably about right. So we need to do about six more flowers on the other side there. All right, so the question becomes, how am I going to attach this? I'm thinking um, thread guard. All right. So we need two of the guards. That's what I'm thinking. I don't like the one of them. Really sticking out there. Here, we'll do those two. All right. So... That means I need to take my thread guard and go up. Oh, you know what? Be cool. I think if we have a bi bow there, that'll help, I think. So we'll take this back off. Hold on. So remember, it's a design on the fly. So we're kind of going with the flow here, trying to figure it out. So we'll go through a bi bow first. And then through the thread guard if I can get it on my needle in there we go now before I go through the other side of my thread guard hmm that's not going to quite work unless I make I think I'm going to have to do, two separate seed beads or something, because it's not going to lay flat, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, folks. Uh, that's why this is designing on the fly. You're learning with me. Oh yeah, I wanted to do one of these rings. That was part of it too. Let's see, is that closed up? Looks like it. That'll help. All right, we'll go back to what we were doing. I'll attach the ring. And I'll have to figure out how to not have it come off of off of this. Looks like 
could very easily, maybe, maybe not. All right, now we're going to go back up through again, through everything, back through the other side, back down through again. Okay, so I think um, I'm going to have to knot this piece off, the side I mean, so, and then start another side. What do you folks think? Oops, pulled the needle off. That's okay. I'm just going to come in here and go through there, maybe, and knot it off. I'll put glue on the knot later. I'll do that again one more time. There we go, and then I can trim that piece off. Alrighty, we can open this up and attach our piece while we're here, and then start on the other side. All right, so we got half of our bracelet done. What do you folks think? All right, so then we're gonna pick this up again. Flatten the end so we can thread our needle. <clears throat> Get our stuff out of the way. I love that they color the needles. All right, I got it on. <laughs> I had to go away to do it. We're going to put another stop bead on. doesn't look like we'll have much we can play with on this piece of string. We might have to pick up another beading thread. All right, so same as before. We're going to pick up, I put a stop bead in, pick up a seed bead. Um, remember, we don't have our by bows right now with the round duo and two seed beads. Bring it all the way down, go through the other side of our round duo and flatten out those seed beads. Pick up a new seed bead to go on the bottom there. Oop. And then we're going to go back up through everything on this side. Now we're going to pick up two seed beads, go around the edge, don't poke yourself like I just did, and back through that first seed bead. Pick up two more and then come out the top. And now we will pick up our first bi bow for this side. So we need a bi bow, a seed bead, 
a round duo, and two seed beats. Bring it all down. Go back through the other side of your round duo. Pull those seed beads. To this. And then you're going to pick up a seed bead. Go through your bi bow and go through your other top seed bead. Bring it all together. Now you're going to go back through this seed bead, up through that seed bead, back through your round duo, and out through that top seed bead. Helps flatten it all out. Come back down through this seed bead, pick up two. Go through the bottom seed bead, back through the other bottom seed bead, pick up two, and back through our top seed bead, and we'll repeat. Now we'll pick up our bi bow one seed bead, one round duo, and two seed beads. Slide it all down. Go through the other side of your round duo. things slightly snug, not completely snug, because you still need room to work through. Go through the bi bow and the other top seed bead, and then back up and all the way to the top. That connects it, those two together, and gives it lots of strength. Go down through this side, pick up two seed beads, go through that bottom seed bead, go up through the other seed bead, and pick up two, the last two for this flower, and then back up through the top. We got three more to go. Hopefully I'm not going too off screen here. Pick up our bi bow. Maybe if I come out a little. There we go. So we're gonna pick up bi bow, a seed bead, a round duo, and two more seed beads. And then you're going to go back through the other side of our round duo here. Okay. Pick up a seed bead, then go through the bi bow and the other top seed bead on the other flower and pull. Pull it snug. Okay. Then you come back through the other the other top seed bead. And we're gonna go through everything again. And that connects it all. Okay. Like that. And then down through here, the seed bead, pick up two seed beads. Go through this bottom seed bead. And I just pulled my thread off. Huh. I think I'm going to get more thread. I don't think that'll finish everything. This is the dragon thread.
from Potomac Beads. So every, I, think I, must, I think everything I'm using is from Potomac Beads except for my tools. Hopefully you're following along okay. It's great thread, but hard to get off this spool. <laughs> it takes a while. Do 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 do. Because it's wrapped so tiny. Hopefully that'll be enough to finish our bracelet here. So once again. See if I can get it in the needle. Flatten the end. That helps get it in the needle. Problem is I can't see the... I'm getting new glasses, so but right now I can't <laughs> see the eye of the needle. So I'm like poking at the, the air here. Hoping for the best. And I do have a magnifier, but it's on the other side of the room because there's not enough room for everything on this desk. To record, to, hey, I got it. All right, so we will tie all that off here momentarily. So I'm going to come up through here. I'm going to tie these two together. And I'll come back and trim and glue and all of that in a little bit. All right, now we're going to try to keep all those. I'm going to trim these threads up here so they stay out of our way. All right. So now I'm going to pick up two seed beads, come back through this one up here, and now we're going to pick up a bibo, a seed bead, a round duo, and two seed beads. And we're going to go through the other side of the round duo. Make sure it lines up with your bibo. up a seed bead and go through the bibo and the other top seed bead on the other side and pull everything tight and then I'm going to come back up through this seed bead on the uh, so the other top seed bead the bibo the seed bead the round duo and the seed bead So this is our fifth one, so we only have one more after this. Go through the other seed bead. We don't want them to pop up like that. There we go. Want them like that, like brick stitch. Pick up two seed beads. Go through that bottom seed bead. And go through the other bottom seed bead. Maybe. There we go. We're going to pick up two seed beads and go back through the top. And we have one more flower to go. So we're going to pick up a bibo, a seed bead, a round duo and two seed beads. Bring it all down. 
go through the other side of your round duo pull everything snug not tight line up your round duo and your bi bow pick up a seed bead and then go through your bi bow and the top seed bead of the other one to connect them there we go then back through this seed bead the bi bow the seed bead the round duo back up through that top seed bead and then go back down through this seed bead pick up two Go through the bottom one. Don't pull your thread off. <laughs> Which I almost did again. Come back through this seed bead. Pick up two more seed beads. And back out through the top. Alrighty. Now, to remember what we did here picked up a by bow and then we got our thread guard and we put our link through there now put it in there and then I'm gonna go through the link and then through my thread guard okay whoops get out of here get out of here uh oh no don't come off well it's still on the thread but I didn't want it to come out of the all right get everything to line up right down the other side of my thread guard and through that other top seed bead to connect it all there we go and then we're going to come back through this seed bead here back through the bi bow and up through the thread guard pull it all snug and back down again And you can go a couple layers down like I just did. I'm gonna, I'll knot it down there in a little bit. But, or I might just go all the way through so I can uh, finish off with the... We're going to open up our thing here. Um, finish off with a clasp there. there connect it close up this jump ring and I'm gonna come back through um, I'm just kind of going down through kind of the center of everything so I can get back the other side and that reinforces it too since I re-entered a thread and all that fun jazz so. you've gone through several times to, don't feel like you have to go through all this you don't have to I'm just doing this because Make it easier to uh, do the finding on this side. 
All right, now I can pull off this stop bead. And pull off, well, I'll pull off the other one here in a sec. So make sure. My computer keeps shutting down on me. Huh. I'm just trying to fix. Oh, my thread got off the the wire guard here. Breaking, that's not good. Hmm. I think we're okay. Now it's on the thread guard. <sighs> All right, so let's see. I haven't thought about what I want to use for a clasp. Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Should we do? Something like this. That'll be pretty for that. We have that one. Or this one's kind of cool. It's a, I don't know. I guess they kind of go like that. Am I going to get all confused trying to take my bracelet off? <laughs> or I guess that's what they do. I think I'll go with this one just because I know how to do this one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to need more thread guards. Maybe let's take off. Well, we'll get there. Let's do this side first. All right, so we're both there. Let's tie this off here. I'll get another thread, two more thread guards. All right, so more thread guards. There's one, here's two. All right, all righty, all righty, and we'll do these guys again. So everything lays the right way. These little fun little jump rings. Okay, so we need to go into our thread guard. I'm going to wait to put that on because that was kind of difficult. I'm going to come back through this seed bead. Make sure that we're on top of the thread guard so we don't have that problem again. Because we're not. Aren't you on top? Supposed to be up there. There we go. All right. Now we're just going to go around this flower. Go through the bibel. Up through the Bible. <gasps> oh, don't 
don't poke yourself. <laughs> like I just did again. Let's see, did I make it through that seed bead? Yep. And then back up through these. And then we'll go through the thread guard again. Alrighty, I'm gonna just come down a little and tie this bad boy off. Tie it off right here. It'll hide a little better down there. Right underneath that bag though. So, knot it off. Okay, and now we will trim it and go to the other side. Hopefully there is enough thread to do this. So I'm going to come up through here, I think. Actually, no, I'll start here and go down and back out so I can tie off there we go tie off with that extra right there and then I'm gonna come back up through these oh I pulled it out not good I should have tied just tied it off all right, we'll do that so I don't. Don't go breaking my heart. All right, so we're knotting this off with the uh, the tail that we left from the beginning. Maybe. You hear my dog barking? <laughs> Bailey's saying hi. Not sure why, but here we go. She's saying hi. Yeah, she wants to come in. But gosh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, Bailey. And a second knot. Bailey, almost done, honey. Knot that off. All right. Maybe we won't slide out as easily. All right, we'll come back up through these, back up through this one. There we go. A little awkward angle, and we'll just do another knot here just to be safe with the, because it seemed to be sliding a little. And I don't think that knotted. <laughs> oh, thanks for staying with me this long, folks. We're almost there. Almost done. All right, so we got a knot there now. And sorry, that was a big bang. I'm gonna come up through my thread guard. And then come back down through the other bead. Go through the center out, poke myself. That's how it works, right? Make sure. All right, so why aren't you, did I not? Oh, I came out. All right, how did that happen? somehow came out of the thread guard. 
pause. Let me, so we have to go back through the thread guard again. Anyways, somehow it popped out. All right, so let's go around the outside. See if we can fix this. Little oopsie here. Maybe. The seed bead here is really tight. Really well in there. <laughs> that but I did all right back up through back down through all right and we'll do that again We don't want our bracelet breaking. I know it looks messy right now, but we'll clean that all up. And thanks for, again, we're so close, folks. So close to being done here. Make sure our threads are on top of our thread guard. Because then, then they're protected. <laughs> And then let's just let's see, we'll come down through here. Trying to get through this seed bead. It's at an awkward angle for some reason. There we go. Back through our by bow. And then we'll knot it off down here. Because we're running out of thread. All righty. So close, friends. So close. Look at that. Oh, looking so pretty. Extra beads wrapped up in there. All right. This is definitely going to probably be too big for me, but that's okay. Um, but this is what we've got. All we have to do now is add on some findings here. And trim it up. Put some glue and we're done, folks. What do you think? Yay! It's always good to do jump rings, no matter the shape, with two pliers. And do one on the other side. So close, folks, so close. And our other part of our, close this up. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. There we go. Oh, how pretty is that? Look at that. <gasps> That's gonna definitely be way too big for me. So let me get my thread burner do some thread burning here with these random pieces all over the place. Just be careful you don't burn any that <laughs> you need.
just add in some dabs of glue. Remember to hold your glue. Make sure you warm it up. Oh, we're so close to being done, folks. This is a really long one today. Sorry about that. Um, overflow. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Okay. A little dab of glue here. And here. And here. Yeah, and just put some on the thread there. Let me see, there was a couple spots up here. And hopefully I got them all. And there you have it folks. Now we just let the glue dry. And we enjoy. Thanks for joining me today. Take care.